fucking even know how to work this shit. This is like my fucking first time going live, honestly. This is crazy. I really don't feel like I need light, but <laughs> drag his ass. Nah, I'm not gonna drag nobody. <laughs> not gonna drag anybody. Um, damn, I was supposed to call my friend to tell her to fucking record the live. Call my friend real quick. But who am I calling? <laughs> I know I'm drinking some cheap ass fucking water, but it is what it is. Somebody said that shit to me in my fucking uh, DM the other day. Uh, Cece, I'm about to call you. Huh? Wait, what are you doing? Give me two seconds, you okay? No, 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 I'm okay. What I need you to do is get on your get on Kendra's live and record my live. Get on Kendra's live and record. Get on Kendra's live and screen record it. Just screen record it? Yeah. I need it for me though. Oh. I'm on live right now. Alright. I got Do you. it now, not later. Now. Okay. And then you can put your phone down and insult to your mom. I'm gonna do it. Okay, bye. Just... Okay. So, I want to address a couple of things. I'm kind of laughing because this is very funny. You know, it's not funny. It's not. Let me let me be serious because it's not. It's actually not funny. You know, lies, allegations, you know, and shit is really not funny. Especially when, you know, I really don't know what to say. I really didn't practice what the fuck I was going to say. You know, so, you know, I guess I'm just going to really have to let it flow because honestly, I, I really wasn't even prepared for this. I just seen something online that said that I was trying to extort somebody. So I'm not going to read no comments because I know you motherfuckers is talking shit. I'm going to read the comments later. So save your fucking bullshit ass comments. Save that bullshit. Okay, little bitch. Okay, let me be professional. So I'm not going to really go into detail about, you know how I know this person or whatever, D. I'm just going to call him D. Um, well, I feel like this is all right. Dwight Howard. I'm, I'm not going to go into detail about how I know Dwight Howard because I just feel like my point was never to expose him or to prove that I was, that I knew him or prove that we did anything. You know, that was never really the point. You feel what I'm saying? The point has always been that I was sexually harassed, harassed, threatened, yelled homophobic slurs at, called a faggot in a wig, and bitch, this is not a fucking wig. Okay? And, um, you know... You know, I was called a knockoff tranny. Um, you know, I was told that I don't have tranny money. You know, tranny's a slur, but I'm just repeating what was said to me. Um, what else? You know, I was told that I'm playing with hot fire and that, you know, um, they have money. The difference between me and them is that they have money to handle me. Okay. It was a lot of shit that I, I have so many fucking hours of recording. So let me get one thing fucking straight too, okay? Let me get one thing fucking straight. Thank you, Kyla. Love you, bitch. Hair always laid. Um, let me get one thing straight. Damn, what the fuck I was about to say? I really forgot what the fuck I was about to say. I said, let me get one thing straight. I got so much shit on my mind. This is really sad. Like, I'm really hurt. I really am hurt. Like, I could sit here and act like I'm not, but I, I genuinely am really embarrassed. I really am hurt. Um, It's a lot that's going on in my mind. I forgot what I was going to say, but, you know, that's just how I'm racing my mind is. But I have a lot of records. 
of, you know, conversations. Oh, I know what I was going to say. A lot of people are saying if you trusted somebody, you know, why would you record them? Now, I need to be careful when I say this. I have, when you're talking to somebody for a minute and you know them and then there's a change in, you know, how they're acting and things that they're saying and then you realize that you might really end up how the other people were, baby mothers, girlfriends, you know, 16-year-olds that you're getting pregnant, you know, you're paying them off, ha- making them have abortions and shit like that or whatever, you know. When you realize that a person is capable of doing you wrong, you got to have your back. You feel what I'm saying? Ain't nobody going to have your back more than you're going to have your back. You feel what I'm saying? So I didn't record anybody from the beginning. I begin to record when something was said to me. And I'm not going to tell you what was said, but something very crazy was said. And it made me very leery. And I was like, you know what? I got to definitely have my fucking back. Because I'm not going, I'm, you know. And look, I'm accused of extortion. Accused of fucking extortion. So if I didn't have my record that I have, the many hours of them, then what? I would have been labeled on the internet as a clout chaser, a faggot in a wig, that's chasing and stalking athletes. I'm trying to extort motherfuckers for money. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I would have been being dragged, you know? So like I said, I'm not going to get into the detail. I just wanted to really speak about Exhibit 1 lot Because I told you guys on Twitter, every time something is said, I'm going to come back with the proof and we're going to shut that shit the fuck down. Because a lot of motherfuckers is used and they're comfortable, you know, with doing people dirty. And they're used to paying people off clothes in their mouth and shit like that. I'm not that bitch. I'm not that bitch. You know, you're not going to disrespect me. You're not going to play me. You're not going to lie on me and, and get away with it. You feel what I'm saying? You get what you give. So we're going to get into it. Because I don't know what else to say. You know, I really don't know what else to say. I don't know which one is first, honestly. And I hope you guys... I never asked you guys if you could hear me. Can you, can you guys hear me? I guess they can hear me. Because no, I, that would be so crazy if I'm talking this whole time. And nobody can hear me. You lie. Oh my god, these people talking about fucking... <laughs> okay, we hear you. Okay, so I'm going to play the first record. I don't know what, um, you know, order is in. But I just want to... I just want to make sure that we understand what extortion is and also understand that this faggot in the wig ain't asking for no money. Okay? Okay. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. Hold on. Let me play it over. The first thing I said was, um... What haven't I been honest with you about? I kind of, it's like, it's like I, I was chipping that in and out. But that's the first thing I said was, I know somebody said them fingers, child. Yeah, I do. I bite my nails. Shit, I've been biting my nails like fucking crazy now. But I'm about to play it. I've been honest with you about you. I'm sitting up here and I, and I told you to communicate 
Okay, so people are saying that they can't hear. Damn, you guys can't fucking hear? I'm gonna play again. Okay, so he said, in order to go to the next level, we have to put some things in place. Then he said, why? Because it takes care of you and it takes care of me. So while I'm listening to it, I'm like, we gonna play. Then he said, I didn't ask you to sign a non-disclosure, but then he's continuing. I didn't ask you to sign a non-disclosure, and then... Without you being covered. Oh my God, this nigga calling me. What's up? Nigga, stop calling me. Stop calling me. Oh my God, know the number to be blocked. God damn. Okay. So that was the first audio, okay? The first fucking audio. So let's go get on to the second one. I don't need money from you. If you want to give me money to keep my mouth closed, I don't, I, I like money. I want it mind that. But I'm not gonna sit here and pressure you and say, bitch, I want 40,000 fucking dollars to keep my fucking mouth closed. I want a million dollars to keep, like, that's not me. What I wanted from you was respect. What I wanted from you was loyalty. What I wanted from you was for you to open up. What I wanted for you was to, 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 to be yourself. To be yourself, to be honest. That's what I like. I like to get to know people for who they are. That is what attracts me, no matter if they're fucking insane. I've dealt with crazy. I've dealt with insane. I've had people try to put their fucking in. And then it stops. Okay, so I'm going to explain that. I think that that was before the, the, that was a day or two before the other one. They kept telling me what was my price. That's, that's what happened. They kept saying, and I say they, because, you know, I'm not going to speak on that. I, I, I'm going to wait for, I'm going to wait for them to, because I know what they're going to say because they told me everything that they were going to do and say if I didn't give up my audio and all of this stuff. So I'm not going to speak on, on that. I'm going to just say they. They told me what was my price. That was my response. If they, they kept saying they were going to give me money to keep my mouth closed. Give me money in exchange for the audios and different things like that. You feel what I'm saying? Like I said, I want to, you guys to keep in mind, I did not start recording any conversations until something was said to me that triggered me into being like, you know what? I really got to watch my back. I really got to cover my ass. I'm not going to say what was said. I said this in the beginning. I'm not going to say what was said. However, something was said, and we're not going to get into that right now. That's when I started to record. I let him know. I let them know that I was recording, okay? So that was the second one. I said, I don't mind. Like, you know, you, you claim that you want to give me money. I don't mind you giving me money, but, you know, that's not what I wanted. I wanted you to be respectful. I wanted, like, and this was, I believe, yeah, I believe that this was after we stopped talking. Like, all of this stuff happened after we stopped talking, and then that's when they try to push the fucking non-disclosure on me and shit. I'm like, nigga, if we stop fucking talking, it is what it is. Like, get, get the fuck out of here. Like, it wasn't a non-disclosure in the beginning. It's not going to be no non-disclosure in, in the end. So that's something that I said, because, you know, I'm extorting, quote-unquote, allegedly, and it's another recording. This is the last one. And I forgot what this one what this one about. I got so damn many. That's what I want. What is it that you want? Hold on, let's go back, bitch. We gotta go, we gotta get the fuck back. 
bring that shit the fuck back. In the beginning, if you guys didn't hear, he said, what is it that you want? We're talking, he's asking me, what do I want in exchange, like, for, I don't fucking know. I, I'm confused at this point, but what is it that I want? Like, what, 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 what can he give me to take my voice? Let's go back. This was the this was the main one. You heard that, guys? Let's go back. What is it that you want? What is it that you want? When I'm asking you, what is it that you want? That is not extortion. Let's play it again. Short nobody. So like I said, <sighs> he don't sound like that. That's why I said I'm away for them to say something else, so I can sh so I can say what I want to say. Every lie that they tell. I have the truth to back it up with. That's it. That's all I'm going to say. So, um, that's really that. You would have took the money and put him on blast. There was nothing to put on blast. There was nothing to put on blast. You know, just learn from this, definitely. You know, at the end of the day, I, I, another thing I want to make clear. I really like Dwight for Dwight, you know. But like I said, when you realize that a person changes, you know, within conversation and they're really not, you know, they're really not portraying who they, you know, say that they are and stuff like that. You know, you get leery. And like I said, something was said to me before I found out about him, you know, um, allegedly going to transgender sex parties and stuff like that or whatever. And, you know, finding out that was kind of disgusting. It definitely put knots in my stomach because I'm thinking, you know, like, you're a guy, from what I've seen at that time, you had a beautiful soul, very goofy, you know, you was just all around, he was just all around, you know, attractive. You feel what I'm saying? Like, so I really liked conversation. I, I really liked, you know, and, and, and let me elaborate, relationship. Because a lot of people was like, you weren't in a relationship with him. From my understanding, we had an understanding. So, you know, that's really all that that matters. I know that I wasn't in a two-year, three-year relationship with this motherfucker. I know that they're really, like, you know, when you're when you when you're starting something, you're starting something. I never, I'm not trying to prove that I was talking to them. like I, everybody's missing the fucking point. The point is a fucking pastor, somebody that's supposed to encourage, uplift, love, pray, is calling me a fucking faggot in a wig, telling me I'm going to die, telling me to watch my back, telling me that they are having me watched. A pastor. A pastor. A pastor. So, I don't get why every... And I understand that everybody is so easy. Like, you know, it's, it's, it's easy to talk about Dwight. It's easy to talk about, you know, people being gay and stuff like that. You know, that's easy. But everybody's straying away from the point of why I said something. They try to take my voice away after they threatened me. After they already threatened me, they continued to threaten me. The threats got worse. That's why I said something. If this shit would have never happened, I would have walked away from that situation and I would have never said anything. I would have never said anything. What do you gain from dealing with someone who has a failed career? He is not Michael Jordan. He is not Kobe Bryant. He is not LeBron. He's not even fucking KD or KB, whatever, you know, I think KD. What do you gain from being with some, for, for, for saying that? You know how many people he's been with? He has like fucking eight baby mothers. What do, what do you gain from that? But the reason why I spoke is because of this. And at the end of the day, every time they lie, I'm going to continue to come out. 
with the audios of what was actually going on. I never asked anybody for money. I never tried to extort anybody. I never lied on anybody. I'm, ne I'm not trying to expose anybody. However, what they're trying to do, and like they said in another audio, is that they're going to, my, my credibility online, because they know that I was an influencer, they said they're going to take that away. And that's what they're trying to do. Extortion? First of all, if I try to extort you, let, let's, let's put it like this. If I try to extort you, okay, let's, 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 let's put it like this. You never met me. We never did anything. I was never talking to Dwight, so they say. This is the things that they've been saying. Why would somebody try to extort you if they don't have something on you that is worth extorting? You got to think about that. You got to think before you say. You got to think before you do. On top of that, I have video and audio of me saying that I never wanted money after they tried to push money on me. After in the video, you see them saying, I wanted to trust you. I want to put some things in place first. I want you to sign an NDA. What the fuck is that for? I'm confused. Like, I just, I just don't get it. You know, like, I've signed an NDA before and I would never sign one again. And I want to, I want, I want to say this. My book, Industry Ho, very fucking interesting book. I speak about non-disclosures in my book on chapter what? Six. Chapter six. I speak about non-disclosures. You say, why not? The reason why I wouldn't sign a non-disclosure is because that's basically taking away your voice. Once you sign that non-disclosure, if they beat your ass, if they rape you, you cannot speak. You cannot speak. If like you can whatever they do to you, you cannot speak on that. From my understanding. Now I don't know about non-disclosures, but that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that when you sign something, whatever goes on with that person and you has to stay between you, stay between y'all. So if they harm you in any shape, form, or fashion, you cannot speak on that. I don't want to speak on that because like I said, like I said, something was said to me that made me leery. Period. Period. That's it. I don't gotta keep explaining why I didn't want to sign it. This is my right. This is my life. If I don't want to sign shit, I just don't want to sign it. Respect that. You don't gotta threaten me. You don't gotta harass me. You don't gotta call me from private numbers and have your, your pastor calling me and your team calling me trying to persuade me. Bitch, I said no. That's it. Respect it. I got plenty fucking audio of them trying to put money on me. Trying to put... You know, non disclosure And I, I continue to say no. And in one of the videos, when I said that's what I wanted, I'm going to tell you what I said and, and why I cut it off. I said, the only thing I wanted was a real relationship with you. And that was because at the time, that's what I wanted. Before all of the crazy shit started to happen, because they kept trying to say that I wanted money, that this was a hustle. Because they're used to shit like that. And that's what the pastor was saying, that they're used to people coming into his life, his, his life, and trying to finesse him. The only thing I wanted was a relationship at that time. When shit went left, I said, now lean back. Now lean back. Bitch, I was out. I was out. Okay? So... Yeah, ain't nobody want to deal with nobody that's motherfucking um, dealing, you know, fucking damn. Um. Oh, another thing I want to say. A lot of people been uh, been confusing my sexuality and my, my, my misgendering me. I'm not a transgender. I'm a gay man. I'm a gay man. I'm not transgender. You know, I have hair. I have real hair. Yes, I wear weave, you know, and stuff like that or whatever. But, you know, I'm not transgender at all. So a lot of transgender people were reaching out to me like, yo, can you please confirm that or let people know? Because, you know, it's like a label just because you see somebody with hair, they're transgender. I'm not transgender. I don't have titties. I don't have titties. You know, none of that. You know, so. But I'm done speaking about it. That's that's exhibit one. I'm not going to like I said, I'm not going to go into detail. I know people want me to go into detail. Listen. I'm not going into details about no damn Dwight. OK, I'm not going into detail because that's not the point. 
the point is, I was disrespected, harassed, sexually harassed, mistreated, manipulated, used, a whole lot of shit. Threatened, most importantly, threatened. Threatened, made to feel uncomfortable, belittled, shit. A lot of fucking shit, man. A lot of shit. And you know what really fucked me up? I told something, I told Dwight something that was private about something that happened to me when I was little. And I finally had the courage to speak about it on social media. And I don't want sympathy. I don't, want, I, I don't really want, even want to say this, but it's real shit. This dude went back, allegedly, and told, allegedly, his pastor, allegedly, that I was molested. And the pastor, allegedly, not so allegedly, but allegedly, made fun of that on video. It's ridiculous. And then everybody's saying, you know, why would you record it? First of all, I spoke to my lawyer. In the state of Washington, D.C., only one party has to agree to recording. Okay? I agree. And that's all that matters. Um, and they were recording me as well. I'm pretty sure some shit, you know, they're going to they're gonna try to leak some shit. They told me a whole lot of shit. Listen, I got... These motherfuckers really is, is, is not a game, you know? But it is what it is. It is what it is. I'm not going to, um, you know, continue to speak about this. But for right now, you know, I'm definitely going to uh, clear that. Never try to extort nobody. So make sure you guys have that on record. I'm not a transgender. I'm not trying to expose the white. I'm trying to expose his pastor. I cannot speak on the pastor without letting you guys know where this shit stemmed from. Because if I would have came out and spoke about the pastor... And I would have said he's cursing me out and threatening me to make me sign an NDA. He's harassing me, calling me nonstop. You know, everybody been like, well, what NDA? What the fuck is going on? And then I would have had to explain. Then when I would have said, it's about Dwight, they would have said, what happened with you and Dwight? Dwight who? The basketball player? Then I would have had to say, well, I was dealing with him or we had a friendship or whatever the case might be. Then they would have said, you were dealing with him. Oh, he's blank? So I just put it out there. We had a friendship. We had an understanding, you know, period. I never talked about sex. Not going to talk about sex. You know, just period, okay? It's not that big of a deal with that. People are who they are and they are entitled to be who they are. But when you are sending threats, Threats. You're trying to intimidate somebody. Then you're lying on social media. You're trying to assassinate my character by saying that I'm extorting you. And that's what they told him. That's what they said. They, that's what they said because I kept it real. I kept it real with him about who I dealt with before. You know. And I told him that I, I wasn't planning on speaking out about this situation. And I wasn't that type of person. He said that in a video. He said, you said that you're not that type of person, you know, and stuff like that. I'm, I wasn't, I'm not that type of person, you know? But when you're being harassed and you're being threatened, you gotta stick up for yourself. And people continue to say, why were you recording? Something happened. Something happened and I decided to record. And, I just, and, and after that, I was pushed to sign an NDA that I did not want to sign. I was offered money. I did not take it. I was offered money with no price at that, okay? Nobody set a price, not me, not them. I did not want to take it. Because either way you put it, if somebody gives you money to, to, for your silence, for, for, for your voice, that is illegal. I did not want to do that. I wanted to be left alone. I wanted to drop the situation, which it wasn't even that big of a situation. It just started over something petty. And then you wanted me to sign an NDA and I didn't want to sign an NDA. And being that, you know, you're such a controlling person and, and I wasn't trying to cooperate with you. You decided to, to offend me and, and disrespect me and threaten me to scare me. No, that's not how it's going to go, period. And everything that I'm saying, I can put on my life. Everything that I'm, that I'm saying, I swear to God. I put that on my life. Everything that I'm saying is true. 
And it's, it's, it, and it's really about the pastor. It's really about his team. The only reason why I'm offended and, and I feel hurt with Dwight is because I genuinely cared about him. I genuinely fucked with him. Before he started showing me his true colors, before I found out about the damn transgender sex parties and you fucking all, allegedly, allegedly, fucking everybody unprotectedly, allegedly, okay? That was, that, that you know, it, so that's it. <sighs> Fuck you, bitch. I ain't about to go back and forth with you talking about, eh, bitch, I don't even know how to block. This is my, like, second time going live. I don't even know how to block. But neither neither here or there, I don't want to issue with Dwight. I don't want to issue with... I had, you know, um, no intentions on trying to do any of that, you know, but when, when you have no choice, you just have no choice, you know, and, you know, you guys, I'm, I'm a nobody, and, you know, that's real shit, I'm a nobody, and at the end of the day, if, if this celebrity would have came out and said, you know, harsh things about me, I would have been dragged, I would have been dragged through the dirt, dragged through the mud, because I don't have a name for myself, I don't want a name for myself, but, you know, you guys flock to who you know, is more popular and stuff like that. And I'm used to stuff like that on social media. But, you know, at the end of the day, I just got my shit together. Dwight is used to paying people off. He's used to doing people dirty. You know, he's done this with many different people. I got proof of that, you know. And I'm just not that person. I just I just got my shit together. And that's why they mad, you know. Then somebody talking about Cardi. Listen, me and Playboy Cardi don't have nothing going on. Y'all need to debt that situation. I don't... I don't know that boy. I don't know him. I don't remember. I don't know what the fuck y'all talking about. Period. I love you too, beautiful Barb. I don't know. I don't know that boy. Stop mentioning, you know, first of all, Playboy Cardi is worth two, two, two million dollars. <laughs> two million dollars. I don't, I don't know Cardi. I don't, you know. I have no fucking idea why y'all in my damn comments talking about that damn boy. That boy is happy with a white bitch. And, you know, that's what he said. He like white bitches. You know, I'm, I'm rooting for him. I hope I wish him the best of luck in life. He's a very great person. We have mutual friends, you know. But I don't know who you... I don't know. I don't know what y'all talking about. I never lied about nothing because I never came out and said anything, you know. So, I don't know what the fuck y'all talking about. But anyways... My book. Oh, another thing. Y'all said that I tr I was promoting. I was trying to. Pro I was trying to use this situation to promote my book. You know how long my book has been out. You know I sold over three thousand fucking copies of my book, and my book is with my book was fourteen ninety nine. You add that shit the fuck up. My book has been out, and I've been promoting my book every day on social media since like before I started writing my book. Like this is my page. That's what I'm gonna do. But I haven't even promoted my book. This, this like this this whole situation. Like I've literally been so emotional about the situation I really didn't have the energy to even say like I really didn't even have the energy to do this like that's why I took so long to get on live like I really didn't even know the words like to what to fucking say but I mean that's my book my book is a fucking interesting ass book and it's crazy because a lot of shit that's happening now I've spoke about in the book non-disclosures rape abuse men that want to take control I've spoke about all of this shit in my book I've spoke about all of this shit in my book. Oh, my gosh. I just woke up. Why am I on? Where you at? I'm on live, so don't say nothing. I know. <laughs> I'm going to call you back. This shit is awful. But, anywho. You know. I really don't know what else to say. You know. I really don't know what else to say. You know, but what I really want is for Dwight to do the right thing and fire that damn pastor. And, you know, get a new team and stop lying. Stop lying for your pastor. You know, and the most, the, the crazy thing is about Dwight, you know, when you know a person, you know, he's a really sweet person when he wants to be. But when you have people in your ear that... You know, I can't even say that. It's just, 
some people just don't have a mind of their own and some people can't really be themselves you know because of other shit you know but it is what it is a lot of people have been reaching out to me about the pastor and you know different things or whatever but I just want to let everybody know I don't have a problem with Dwight I don't have a problem you know I'm not trying to expose him I definitely did genuinely care about him I definitely did genuinely fuck with him or whatever you know I never tried to you know hurt him or whatever anything like that but when he tried to hurt me and offend me and just stood there and allow his people to just attack me over and over each fucking day, you know, I, I reached out to him. I let him know. I'm like, yo, Dwight, you know, if this shit don't die over, if it don't end, I'm going to have to make a statement because it was a lot of shit that was said. It was a lot of shit that was said. I reached out to his family, his brother. I reached out to multiple people asking them like do you have communication with Dwight because this is what's going on and this is what's being said to me and I want to make sure that he is fully aware that this is what's going on that's it that's it you know I, I did all that I could do thank you for the order I appreciate it Christopher I think that was my motto but that's all I gotta say you guys you know, um, I really kind of want this. Sh I mean, I feel like it's not going to go away, but I feel like somebody got to be a voice for, for, for people. Some people got to be a voice for people. And <laughs> my best friend is crazy. just that but I just I you know I I just want to be a voice a voice for what's right and what's wrong and I want people to just respect shit you know respect shit you give respect you get respect you know I get where everybody's where everybody's coming from go live with James Jefferson Jr. who the fuck is James Jefferson Jr. bitch ain't that ain't that like somebody from TV James Jefferson Jr. I'm so out of the loop. I have no idea. All these basketball lovers, right? That's all they are. They're basketball lovers. But at the end of the day, I mean, you know, let's talk about what, what happened. You know, I'm a gay man who was sexually harassed, harassed by a pastor. A pastor. That's what I'm so shocked about, bitch. I can't. Every time I say that shit, I'm like, yo, a pastor. You know, this motherfucker was like, you fucking faggot. He was so mad. He was so mad that I wouldn't compromise with him. He was like, you fucking faggot. You're, you fucking faggot. I was like, yo, what the fuck? I never had a pastor talk to me like that. I never, I never had a pastor talk other than, you know, when, when they be on the, on, in the pulpit, they be like, and you know, blah, 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 blah. Bitch, I never had a pastor. I never heard a pastor curse. I was, that's why I kept saying, wow. If you listen to the audio, I'm like, wow. I was like, oh, shit. What the fuck? He was like, I'm watching you. You we we know what building you came out of today. I'm like, what the fuck? Like you trying to put a hit out on me, nigga? It was crazy. But let me read the comments. I'm gonna read the comments now. Cause I'm done speaking. You know, I wish D D White the best of luck. I hope that he can have a voice for himself. You know, I did respect him. You know, I just want people to know that I'm not, you know, doing anything for for no money. Nobody's giving me no money. I make money on my own, you know, and you know, that's it, you know. The pastor is his boyfriend. Um, you that's Ch Chardonnay vibes. The pastor is his BF, best friend or boyfriend, because I read that as boyfriend, and you know that's I'm getting the vibes too. If you've seen his fucking pictures, sis is a sis. I ruined that you, lovely bliss, laughing my ass off. You ruined that man's life for clout. No clout. You can't get clout off a failed basketball player's career. Why are you coming? Let me read that. Goofy, Vib, why are you coming out telling us about Dwight? Baby, you are late. Oh, you lied about Cardi. Oh, my God. These people are literally talking to me about this boy that's worth $2 million. I cannot die. Sis, listen, baby. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Where, where, 
What's up, London? We're, we're plenty of pretty because I'm dead. But she just called me. The best friend just called me. <laughs> Somebody said, love Joe, love Joey's. There's a reason Royce signed, Royce signed an NDA. There is. There is a reason. I'm not going to get involved in that. <clears throat> but, you know. I can say, what one thing I can say about that is that a lot of people have said the same thing over and over. But what's so interesting about this situation is that I'm a gay man. And I'm speaking on a situation and people are blowing it out of proportion and they're just they're taking it and run with it like you see the trans like you see the um the the the, the headlines transgender honestly i don't i look when i see myself i see a man i see a man i see a man i don't got none of that i'll be in the i'll be in the mirror like this bitch i see a man i so i mean only thing i got is hair you know, but that's it, you know? Somebody said, what What career? In Famous Jordan, what career? Oh my God, Kevin, 142M, you ain't no man. Oh, sis. Well, I guess I'm a woman. Shit. <laughs> what, what the fuck am I? You know, I mean, I am whatever you want to be. You ain't fucking me, though. All things... Push that hair is laid, okay? Oh, <clears throat> you wear woman clothes. Somebody said you wear woman clothes. Let me let me make sure. Cool pics, bitch. Mm. I wear woman clothes. This is a size large, I think. Men's. Mm, okay. Don't come for my friend, Jabriel. You see this shit, Jabriel? <laughs> Jabriel, I'm dying at your fucking text earlier, bitch. Jabriel, I I died. This bitch said I googled. <laughs> I wanna hit you for I wanna hit you with Dwight's little me. Kevin, you back? You wanna hit me? Wait, I wanna hit you with Dwight little me. Little. Do you think Dwight paid the shade room to not talk about? I don't give a fuck. Listen, the, the shade room don't let let's 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 uh, we're not gonna talk about that. We ain't gonna talk about that. I believe you, otherwise Dwight would come after you with defamation. He isn't doing that. Fag. Heard it all. I've heard that shit from my mother. Can nobody say nothing that's gonna really hurt my feelings like that? Fag, I've heard it all. What's the T on the rest of the team? Oh, it wasn't the team. It was his, you know, you know, it wasn't the, when I said team, it wasn't the basketball team. I'm sorry, let's let's elaborate. Let's go back. It wasn't his basketball team. It was his team that he hired, like publicists and PR people and, you know, managers and, you know, people that, that help him, you know, that cover up his bullshit and stuff like that. They were the people that were reaching out to me. That's why I said his camp and his team. Your positivity is amazing. Thank you. I'm trying to stay positive. I cried this morning because I seen a lot of shit and a lot of people, you know, I'm very sensitive. But when it's time to be strong, I'm very strong. And I've never been in a situation where I had to be strong for myself like this. I've always been in situations where I had to be strong for other people. And honestly, you know, I mean, it is what it is. You know, it's a situation that happened. I learned from it. You know, I don't feel no type of way about the white, you know, about our friendship, relationship, understanding. Um, but I do feel some type of way about him standing by allowing these people to do these things. And, and all I wanted him to do when I reached out to his family, to his baby mother, I reached out to his, his I'm not going to say that, but I, I reached out to him multiple times. I have the proof. I left him a, a voicemail. I'm like, yo, I'm like, Dwight, I don't want to, I don't want an issue. 
please just tell your people to stop or I'm going to have to speak because this is something that's serious. I'm going to have to go to social media because this is something that's serious and you're threatening me. I did go make a police report. I did go to the police. I did speak to a lawyer. I did everything that I had to do that I'm not going to speak on that because that's like, you know, other things. But I went to him to resolve the situation. I told them over the phone, which I got on record. I want to resolve this shit. I pled. I, I begged. I begged. And I'm saying them, they, remember that. Because I know what they're going to try next. And I wonder what pastor is preaching about today. Bitch, right? Today is Sunday. He probably up there at the damn Paul Pitt po preaching positivity. Preaching positivity and going to call me later and call me a faggot. What a goddamn shame. Pitiful. Your lawyer would have told you not to go on social media. No, my lawyer. No, baby, trust and believe. My lawyer said I have a freedom of speech. And if they try to sue me for defamation, I can def my defense will be truth because I have the truth. You know, you don't know nothing about laws. Somebody said, girl, you messy. Bitch, how am I messy because somebody said that they was going to kill me? How am I messy? Because somebody said that they were going to kill me. If somebody said they're going to kill you, what you going to do? You going to go to the police. You going to speak about the situation to your friends. You going to do everything that you can do to let people know if something happens to me, this is the person that did it. Simple. Period. Marcus, your DMs are fake. They're screen recorded. No fake. No need for it for fake. I have voice recordings. Fuck the DMs, bitch. Fuck the damn DMs, bitch. Y'all so focused on goddamn DMs. The only reason, and another thing, the only reason why I uploaded that DM with, with, with us was because the guy told me if I spoke, he would say that he thought that I was a woman or that I tried to catfish him as a woman. And I uploaded that DM to prove that I asked him because after, this was after I found out about him with the with the transgender sex parties. I said, "Does your because he was the girl that what what I seen what I seen I'm not even gonna speak on that allegedly 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 what I seen you out here living your best life." So I asked. I said, "You know, I DM him. I said, does your brother, your family know? I didn't know how close he was with his family at that at that time. You know, I never we never talked about that." And I asked him, like, does your family know that you, like, date, you know, transgenders and, um, you know, gay men? You know, it was just something that I wanted to know, you know? Like, I feel like that's when you're getting to know somebody because it, that right there shows you that if you would ever be in a public relationship with them or if they would ever show you off or if they would ever take you serious or if you can take pictures with them. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, I was trying to fill, fill him out, like, fill him how he felt. And his response was... I don't have an answer for you. Like, so that's the only reason why I uploaded that because his, his team argued with me and said, if you don't give me what you have and you try to say anything about the situation, about them, make sure about them cursing me and stuff like that. That's why I said I was going to go to the media because something happened. I'm not going to speak on that. And then after that happened, they started to, 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 to offend me and curse me and threaten me. And I said, okay, well, yeah. I'm going to go to the media. Then something else happened. Make sure because I don't want you guys to say that my story is changing. But I'm not telling you guys everything because I already know their plan because they've said that over the phone to scare me. So every tactic, I'm going to come back. This is how I'm going to be. You get it. You get it. You get it, bitch. You get it. That's it, you know. You're so fucking lying ass, bitch. You're white, Okay. Oh my gosh, I should never said that. Anyways. Just come to my house. Yarny charms. <laughs> what up, bitch? Nobody coming to the hood, bitch. Nobody coming to the hood. Facts. Love you, sis. Yanni. I knew you since third grade. It's so amazing how you can have friends since like third and second grade and they can watch you grow. Like, I have so many friends, like, online. Like, I know this girl named Brianna. I was in, like, the second grade with her. So many, like, so many. <laughs> Marvin, I like your tracksuit. Bitch, shut the fuck up. You know the tea, Marvin. <laughs> you know the tea. I want to hear the other video. You're white. Should have never said that. Who gives a fuck? Listen, white people, I like, I, 
my friends are gonna they're gonna laugh. I love I love white people. I do. I think that they're some of the most <laughs> I'm gonna move on. Being with a transgender or gay man is not a problem. My problem is why threaten or have someone else threaten someone's life because because you are not true to yourself. This is crazy. Who said that? I want to follow you. Adria, Adriana, 2218. That's some real shit. Someone said racist and gay. No, baby, I like, I like white people. I like white people. I love white older men. I love them. You didn't care. You didn't care being a secret. I was never a secret. I was never a secret. You gotta. I was never a secret. Somebody said you outed a man because of the actions of his team. I'm proud, Howard G. You got Howard in your name, so bitch, I'm assuming that you're a fan. I outed a man because of the actions of his team. I never outed a man. First of all, if you go back, let's go back to the YouTube videos. Let's go back to the blogs of other trans, not other, of transgender people and, well, not really gay people, but transgender people. I am Candy Kane, allegedly. Let's go back to the facts. The thing is, they not me. They're not me. So when other people speak out for help in situations that's going on, you motherfuckers don't take it serious. Other people been through the same thing. When his baby mother said the shit, the same shit I'm saying and the shit that he's doing right now, nobody took her serious. He sued her. You laughed at her. She went to basketball wives. Y'all made jokes about her. Allegedly, he abused his son. Allegedly, y'all never believed it. Y'all continue to make him who he was and get comfortable with the things that he were do that he was doing. And he pay people off, make people sign fucked up NDAs. Allegedly, and you know that ain't gonna be my life. That is not gonna be my life. This shit going too fast for me, bitch. Y'all need to slow the fuck down. What the fuck? Y'all need to slow the fuck down. I'm scared to go live with y'all motherfuckers because y'all motherfuckers probably be talking shit. Somebody said, don't touch John Wall. I don't know anybody else on that on that team or whatever. I don't, you know, I don't... I know one person... Well, I know, I know two people on that team, but, you know, not like... Not on that level, you know. Not on that level, you know. I would love to have you on my show... It's a LGBT base about em empowerment. I sent an email title interview request. Okay, let's get it, baby. Let's get them coins ready, too. Quit lying, you fucking whore. Oh, my God, you fucking people are so crazy. You can show you bitches. You show you bitches everything, and y'all bitches... They say Cardi, not Cardi. I don't know neither of them people. I, Cardi, Cardi, Carti. I have no the fuck idea what y'all talking about. Love my book. I appreciate my book. Industry Ho. I love it. I love it. I want you guys to go order it. It's one day shipping. It's on sale right now. Industry Ho. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. I think he's bisexual. Somebody get this man arrested. Child, please, you can't get arrested for speaking the truth, okay? I didn't do anything. I didn't threaten nobody. I didn't do nothing. Let's see the positive comments, though. Somebody said, man, you're trying to get this book popping. Baby, I sold 3,000 copies already, and I've only been on my second month. My book been popping, okay? Nobody is going to buy your damn book. 3,000 people did. Thank you, baby. Appreciate it. Publicity stunt. Child, please. 
this is all for your book promotion. Been my book been out for four months. Been promoting it for so many more months than that. I'm so confused. I think I yeah I uploaded it. I, I I officially released my book in September, so that was a couple of months ago. But I've been promoting my book since like last year. So thank you for the hearts. Thank you. I appreciate you guys so much. Did you cause Dwight's butt in the, in <laughs> injury? I've been on, bitch, you been con. The fuck? Let me stop. When you're trans, they call you he. But when you're blatantly keep saying you're a gay man, they keep calling you she. Yo, that is something that is a fact. That is a fact. I see so many trans people like Bambi, my bitch Bambi. You know, people would call her a him, a he, purposely. But the minute someone like me, I don't even feel like I look like a girl. I'm like, I don't even, like, I don't, I don't know, you know. And I be telling y'all, like, I'm, I'm a he. You feel what I'm saying? And everybody continues to say she. And I'm like, sometimes I let it slide. I just want You're a man I just want to know Damn this shit is going so fast Just be yourself Big facts I feel so bad for you bro Please be careful jeez Listen I'm good You know I don't feel like them people are that stupid However I just feel like they're trying to scare me And shit like that That's really it You guys are sending me so much crazy shit. This shit sick, bro. Can't imagine what you're going through, but I hope it gets resolved and that you feel better. I hate hearing sick ass stories like this. Definitely. My friend Avery Straight, man, I respect you, my nigga. Chloe has told me many fucking great things about you. Like, it's crazy how, you know, everybody sees, like, like, who wants to be threatened, my nigga? Like, nobody wants to be threatened. Like, nobody, I didn't come out and say, yo, I sucked his dick. I fucked him in the ass. I did this. I, I didn't say that shit. I just simply said he's standing by after dealings with me, allowing people to disrespect me. And the reason why they disrespect me is because they want me to sign an NDA and I'm not signing an NDA. That's it. That's all I said. You feel what I'm saying? Like, nobody wants to be disrespected, my nigga. I'm not explaining what happened. I only explain about the extortion shit or whatever. You know, they said that I extorted him and I wanted to come out and show my proof, which I did. Hopefully you guys have it recorded. You did say you fucked him. You're forgetting shit you said. I said I met him. I don't think I said I fucked him. I don't think I would have said nothing like that because that's not me. But if I said that, show me the proof. You know? But I, I did say a couple of things yesterday, but I don't think I said that I fucked him. I said that we, we met face to face. And that's it. But I definitely that that doesn't even sound like something I would say that I fucked him. I said that he I found out that he had sex with a transgender. But whatever. You said it in your tweets. Okay, show me the proof. Thank you. Appreciate it. Nice watch. Appreciate it. You just a fan, baby. I ain't even a fan of basketball. Stop it. Well, anyways, anyways, you guys, I love you guys so much. I got one more minute. Um, you know, only thing I want to say is stay safe. I'm going to stay safe. And, you know, I definitely do want an apology. I definitely don't want to be lied on. And one thing I can say, one thing I would respect is if the nigga just come out and say, I'm not even going to say that. Anywho, you guys. Love you, Jada. I got the bundles from my website.
the pastor definitely does owe me an apology, but Dwight does owe me an apology for standing by while I'm reaching out, letting him know what's going on, and he's laughing at the situation. That's fucked up. I had dealings with him, not the pastor. I do care about my safety. Love you guys. See you guys later.